happy Halloween, everybody. So I wanted to uh, start playing this game around the Halloween time, and I was planning on doing this as a live stream, but thats I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, I've kind of taken a step back from doing live streams. It's just a little bit too... Uh, hectic, I guess, <laughs> to do that right now. So instead, I'm doing this as uploads. I think this game usually will take about two to three hours, uh, probably closer to three, knowing how I play. <laughs> so uh, we'll go ahead and start this and see, play, probably play it through uh, Halloween. And uh, I don't know when we'll finish up, maybe around Halloween, maybe a little bit after, we'll see. This is a puzzle game. Uh, it came out like, I'm gonna say like in 2017, it was, it's been out for a few years. I'm not exactly sure what year for sure. Uh, let's take a look at the setting. Let's see. Switch forms, interaction, inventory, movement. Yeah, so this is a puzzle game. Uh, we're going to control this girl to uh, check out this mansion uh, and uh, uncover a secret, I believe. Let's go ahead and get in there. Profile name, Alana. That sounds good with me. English, brightness. Guess that's all right. Mansion groundskeeper goes missing. Oh, is that her dad? Aww. I will discover what happened to him. No, my darling, do not go. It's evil. Spooky. <laughs> oh, I can crawl through there. Oh, what's up with the necklace? Oh my goodness. <gasps> so we're gonna end up underneath the mansion, I guess. Fort Ham's Wall War, Chapter One. Hmm. Is that her necklace? Oh, amulet. I thought I'd lost it. Inventory. My family's heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. Oh, interesting. Okay. Can I jump? Uh, there's the menu. Inventory. Doesn't look like I can jump. Huh. You automatically crawl, I guess. New diary injury added. Press circle to read. Willow's family catacombs. What is this place? I am so lost and mom doesn't know where I am and I'm supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. All right. Human bone. <sighs> but why? Because it's the catacombs, you silly girl. Oh, her amulet is glowing. Why is it glowing? Girl, hear me, girl. Your power calls to me. Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Quantard tribe, <laughs> my grandfather. It, gl it glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Is shama shamanic a word? <laughs> <laughs> Let it be your guide. All right. To change form. Oh. Oh yeah. There we go. 
Ooh. Flying Hawk. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. Okay. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body, and look at me now, but perhaps you can help find me. Find it. Oh, find his body? I shall reside within your amulet and teach you how to fend off the darkness. Oh, how nice. Thank you. That's right. Live in my amulet. <laughs> Flying Hawk's ghost. Okay. We've captured our first ghost. So, do we need to go back to the body now? There, there is a crack above that door. Use it to get to the other room. Okay. Oh, I see it. Oh. Okay. And then, glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Okay. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. Then just square to go back. Huh. Wow. Pretty easy. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. I just met I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't know anything, but I don't think anything can stop me now. Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> so I could go through there, I could go up this ladder. Yeah, there's something below and uh, above us. Let's go through here first. Uh, and there we can go down. That's a dead end. Let's go down. Well, we need to go up, so let's go ahead and go down here. See what's down here. Behind there. There's scratch. There's a hole in the wall, but there's also like scratches on the wall. Can I look through it? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like that wor that works. What could have made this? Pick up notes. New note added. Press circle to read. Oops. So. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Wortham Willows. My dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of dysentery. The physician we brought with us believes that she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight would do her well, but the physician warned that she mustn't move nor be moved by any else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do naught but wait and pray. Mm. Two of thirteen for notes. All right. Oh boy, man, I went down because I didn't think we would go down very far. <laughs> I've been proven wrong. <laughs> and there's another up here. A blocked off wall. There's an entryway here. For my ghost spirit. Can I go down here? Hmm.
Well, it looks like I cannot possess anything here. Maybe I missed something. Let me, uh... Okay, I'll go back and uh, go across this floor. See if there's anything I missed and then head down some more. But I think, I think it was just down. That's all I needed to do here. Hmm. Isn't this where I came from? What? What is this? Oh! This is not where I came from, I guess. Ming Zeng, Wortham made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Nobody knows what's in there, though. I've only heard rumors. What? What hole? Made this door without a key. Oh, this... I've only heard rumors. So this is a door. Huh. Alright. Crypt door. Huh. No keyhole. I wonder how it opens. Well, I see how it opens up above. I just, I wasn't able to possess any part of that to be able to open it. What is this? Coffin of Jeremiah Mode. can't search that. This coffin looks like it was made in a rush. Hmm. Huh. Alright. I wonder. Let's do that and then have me go up through here. And see if that revealed a secret. Because it's interesting that it was that way. That, no? Didn't reveal a secret. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep that closed for now, though. Er, down. Locked. See if that changes anything up here. Hmm. Nope, it won't even let me go down there. I feel like I should be able to, but I can't. And there's this here. Press X to go through opening. Oh. Uh, that's blood on the wall. It's locked. The door is smeared with blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's locked. Storage is written on the door. All right. And I can't go through doors? Yeah. Weird. Weird how that works. You would think spirits would be able to go through doors. Earn. It sure seems a. It sure seems a lot of people have died here. Yeah. Okay. Nothing here, I guess. So this door is locked. I already went down that way. Um, did I go on this side? Up this side? I guess it's black, so maybe that means no. Yeah, that's right. I came down on that other side. Okay. 
pick up notes. New note added. From Flying Hawk. The Greed Eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs. As my heart was wrenched from my chest, the earth turned in on itself, and so too did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust darken the sky. No plants grew, and giant black rivers cut across the land like infected veins. Monstrous looking beasts of metal and industry will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. Yep. That happened. My grandpa's in one of these. What? Why does she say that? My grandpa is in one of these? In one of these coffins, rest in peace, Willow's estate groundkeeper. Coffin of Willard Haggard. Hagger. Is that her grandfather? Oh, I see an opening up there. I don't think my body would fit through that. Oh, well, yeah. Let me. Okay, locked. Okay, let's check that out. <laughs> Easy. It's a, uh, oh, there's a key. Storage key. Huh, a key to a storage area of some kind. Oh, we found that door. I like how uh, it's, it's a bit of a puzzle, but at the same time, they really do walk you through everything. <laughs> Maybe, I bet it gets harder as time goes by. Let's see, storage is this way? Oh, there we go. Storage. Uh, what? A cage. Why is this cage moving all by itself? And my amulet is glowing red now. I wonder if that's uh, predicting something bad. It's in that cage, like a demon, and they just can't see it right now. Pick up the note. The day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history books will sing my praises and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set off to settle the savage west. With me, as always, is my trusted companion, Derby O'Hilaren. It was enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's far and away my most trusted friend, and I don't know what I would do without him. Along with us are 24 men that used to work with my father, who are now under my employ. They will be crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also with me is, of course, my beautiful bride, Martha, who demanded she join me. Staying here in New England, however, is young Marcus. He's already 16 years old, almost a man. He shall continue his education and apprentice under my own father. He could no he could have no better teacher, surely. The boy pleaded with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business, that someone would need to look after it while I established myself in the West. He's a sharp lad and understood well with the necessity of his sacrifice. I embraced him more tightly than I ever had dared to do, but he'd soon be a man, and I knew he would he could take it. <laughs> so this is uh, Worth and Willows, not Fine Hawk. I was like, as soon as he tar started talking about his wife, I was just like, wait a second. That doesn't sound like, like an Indian thing to do. <laughs> All right. What is it? Oh, it's a... What the heck? It's not empty! No, I didn't think it was either. It was, uh, make 
moving around like there was a poltergeist in there. Uh, I'll unlock that, but in a second. Who is this? Anastad Amvor. This lever opens the crypt door. Worth Wortham hid the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. How? Oh. oh, so that room I was trying to get access to, I guess. It feels like something heavy moved. Okay. Back down, I think it is, we go. So the door must be open. I hope there was nothing in there that we let out. Oh, and that's no longer closed. I had left that closed. Hmm. Oh, it's a, oh, I went right through the door without even realizing it. Uh, there's a key. Crescent key. Neat. It's a key with something. An old tarnished crescent key. The end is shaped like a crescent moon. All right. Awesome. Oh. Did the door just close on me? <gasps> run away, run away. Oh, yep, there we go. I was wondering what I was gonna have to do here. Run away! Oh my gosh. It's a demon or something. Press up. A growing darkness has plagued this place since my death, and I got an achievement. It festers beneath the surface like an infected boil. In exchange for my teachings, you must, in turn, assist me, Elena. Elena. Hmm. I need to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. Well. That was kind of scary. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if this unlocks the, uh, the blood door. So I'm not sure, I'm playing on the PS5 right now. For some reason, every once in a while, it'll flash on the screen that uh, my recording has been blocked. And uh, that's for when I'm recording with the, just the PS5, but I'm using a PC with the OBS to record. So I can record through it. Uh, but I'm not sure why that keeps flashing on the screen. All right, so I don't go up. Where was that door? Is it down below? I don't want to go back down there. No, it's through here. That's right. It's locked. The door is smeared with blood. Okay, so it's not that one. Um... Okay, I think I've explored everywhere below. I think it's time to go back up. All right, so I'm heading back up towards, uh, yeah, like through here and towards where I was before. There's going to be a lot of walking back and forth in this game, and I'll probably cut some of it. All right, so I haven't been up here yet. Nope. So this is Flying Hawk. I soared through the sky as I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core and their blood is the water we drink. We walk around their dirt, flesh, and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. 
it is it is to them that we owe everything and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the great spirit the spirit realm calls me more often than it did before as high shaman of the kawanto kawanto kawantako kawantako i must heed his call and relate to my people what the great spirit has shown me Hmm. All right. Okay, so I guess the only way where to go, place to go, is up. Into a coffin? Ah, behind a coffin. Or with probably a what a sarcophagus <laughs> instead. Ah, crescent key unlocked this. Yay! I can actually go upstairs now. Now I need to remember I couldn't get into that bloody door. New diary entering. Evil unleashed. What? What on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living one of my nightmares. I could feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. Ugh, I'm so tired, but I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and I'm almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd help him find his body. I'm not so... I'm not sure, but I feel like the guest house is where I should look first. All right. Well, you know, I think this is actually a good spot to end this first episode, getting out of the catacombs, and then we'll be back next episode and uh, check out the guest house. Um, so I'm not sure how many episodes uh, this will take, uh, but I'm probably going to aim for half an hour to 45 minutes videos, but we'll see how it goes. Until then, happy Halloween, everybody, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.